What's up, everyone? Welcome to another revolutionary minute. As always, a thank you for allowing me to come right where you're at and for coming and hanging out with me right here where I'm at. So I want to talk to you about something that's been stirring up in my heart and it just doesn't leave me alone. And it's the story of David and Goliath. It's this scrawny, skinny, smelly shepherd boy. You know, a teen, maybe, you know, estimate between 14 years of age and 16 years of age. And he's out there in the fields taking care of his father's sheep. And, and, and he's really a nobody, man. He's, he is a nobody. He's a, a smelly, skinny, scrawny shepherd boy. That's all he does. That's who he is. But it is this shepherd boy that when he catches wind of what's going on about Goliath, this mammoth huge dude, strong and big, over nine feet tall, who has weapons everywhere you can think of, he is, he is the ultimate weapon of that day, the ultimate fighting champion. And here comes a skinny, scrawny kid that shows up and says, hey, what's going on? Because he hears a commotion. And he hears that this giant is defying the, the armies of Israel. Now, this is the important part. This is where it captures my attention and captivates me, is that the terms or the rules of engagement were as follows. Goliath has said, you choose a champion to fight me. And whoever wins this fight, they will be the master of everybody else. In other words, whoever loses will be the slave of the other people. I want you to take a look at this. Really look at it in your mind. Play a picture, a movie, whatever it is that helps you out. But whoever lost will become the slaves of the other. So here's this young person. And he stands up and he says, you know what? I'm scrawny. I'm skinny. I don't have all the weapons. I don't have all the training that he does per se. But I'm going to go and I'm going to confront this Goliath. You know why? David, in my heart, this is what I think. He, he, he had a, a holy indignation, a holy anger, a righteous anger that he said, Who is this Philistine that dares defy the armies of Israel? And he said, You know what? Because my generation is at risk here. Remember, that's what was at risk. His whole generation, if they lost the war, if they lost the battle, if they lost against this great giant, they would become slaves. He said, my generation is at risk here. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to be the one who's going to step out and I'm going to confront this giant and I'm going to take his head out. Now remember, this Goliath, this huge giant was armed with all the greatest weapons of the day. Goliath had everything that the ultimate champion or the ultimate fighting person could ever want. Gol Goliath was the man. David was a scrawny kid and all he did was he picked up a few stones. He picked up a pocket full of rocks. David picked up a pocket full of rocks. And it only took one of those rocks to slay the dragon. To slay the mammoth of that day. To slay the Goliath. To slay the monster. To slay the threat to his generation. Now I'm asking you. Are you like David? Do you have something inside you stirring up that says I don't have much I may not be old enough or I think I'm not old enough I don't have all the gifts all the abilities all the talents I don't have all the money in the world uh, I'm still in high school in junior high school or I just finished high school I'm in college I, I don't have it all together but do you have that spark in you like David do you have just one rock that says I will step out in faith for my generation that's all God is looking for someone that says what if if I just take one rock and dare in the name of the Lord to go and fight against the things that are destroying my generation, the things that are threatening to eradicate, to erase my generation. If you choose to do that, then you are a candidate to be a giant slayer. You're a candidate for your generation to do great things. So my question for you today is this, very simple. I know you may not have everything you want or be everyone you want to be, but can you afford to just grab a pocket full of rocks? That's all God is looking for. A pocket full of rocks to help save your generation. The threat of your, your generation is big. Just get a rock. You're that rock. God wants you to go. And he will be the one that goes before you to help you help this generation out of the hole and the threat of enslavement that it's in. Hey, thank you for allowing me to hang out with you and you hanging out with me. I'll talk to you soon and again in the next Revolutionary Minute. Again, until next time, hey, 
grab a pocket full of rocks and start launching them. Because a Goliath that's that huge, you ain't never gonna miss. Bye.